Is it possible for some people to just not like music? According to a new study, 2% of the population is affected by a condition known as musical anhedonia. This condition is the inability to find pleasure in activities that are typically found pleasurable, such as listening to music. Music has been integral to human culture since the beginning with some artists uniting masses. And since the boom in music. technology, people have access to all kinds of tunes. Haley Mert, a student at Conestoga College, explains why although having not been diagnosed with this condition, why she doesn't care for music. I can appreciate that someone's taking the time to uh, put it together and, you know, it's, I guess it's hard to do. I wouldn't be able to do it. But it doesn't like save my life or make me like feel a certain way at all. I could pretty much just go without it. And for some people, like fellow student and musician Zoe Ross, this is a hard opinion to believe. I think everyone does like music in some way. It's, it's, even your circadian rhythm and your heartbeat all comes down to it. For most, though, music really has the ability to strike a chord. John Howell, a local musician, explains why music has impacted his life. Uh, music for me can be, uh, it's, it's a very personal thing, so I can relate a lot to my life towards a song, and it can be uh, cathartic. A lot of catharsis. Whether you enjoy listening to some jams or not, music definitely leaves an impact on everyone. For Spoke TV, I'm Kale Walters.